Reynolds back in a hurry. Reynolds to the hole. Yeah, we're trying to get free shoot scores. To keep the Grand Barry on target. Lundy to the house. Touchdown, Virginia. Cavalier Sports Weekly is presented by the Virginia Lottery, where all profits benefit Virginia's public schools, grades K-12. through Buy clean, safe, reliable propane. Propane, exceptional energy. And brought to you in part by the Virginia Athletics Foundation, dedicated to providing scholarship, operational, and facility support for the Virginia Athletics Program. On this edition of Cavalier Sports Weekly, presented by the Virginia Lottery. And I, my heart just dropped, like, I'm like, oh, here we go again. She was just so gifted, it was amazing. To the other end, send it home! Watch the brakes with those shoulders! At the end of the day, my cheeks were sore just from smiling so much. Welcome to Cavalier Sports Weekly. I'm Saida Williams, number four on the women's basketball team. Today you'll see lots of hoops action and features on my teammate Tara McKnight and basketball great Dawn Staley. But first, here's your play of the week. The play of the week is brought to you by SunTrust Mortgage. We make the American dream come true every day. Rice to the front court at the wing, Dudley. Dudley sends it low to Hinnon. Hinnon to Dudley. Dudley to Rice. Rice dropped the ball, steal, and the strip. Reynolds all alone to the other end. Send it home. I told him, you know, on my team, you know, once I got a fast break, I was going to duck it. Because, you know, they always see me dunk in practice, but they never, you know, see me dunk in the game. As soon as I saw him on a break and I uh, saw him looking around, I just stopped and froze in place and held my breath, and I saw him dunk it. And I, I, I got real excited, and uh, it was good to see him finally dunk Get a two. <laughs> so, no, I get a. I give him a five. I give him a five. He's a little guy. Get up there and, it, and throw it down. I give him a ten just because it's Jr. And uh, I mean that's something he hasn't been doing much of, but lately in practice and all and uh, layup lines, he's really been getting up. I'm Jr. Reynolds and Cavalier Sports Weekly. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. The men's basketball team produced a stunning upset of 11th ranked Boston College on Tuesday before traveling to Clemson. Let's take a look at the action from these two games. For on-demand Virginia basketball video highlights, visit virginiasportstv.com. Singletary, top of the key, right to Adrian Joseph, the left-handed three, bullseye. I don't know what it is about this building. Deani post injury to Lars. Michalowskis up top to Reynolds. Reynolds kicks Deani. Deani's got to look at a three. Good. Oh, I love to see Mamadi light it up. His 11th three of the year, Cavs up six. And I think it was very, very good confidence building, not only for myself, but also my teammates. Sean Singletary off the dribble. Singletary kicks left. JR, ball fake. JR inside, the little runner. Good. Count the basket. Give him one more. And that's something, you know, Coach talked about doing, you know, in this game. You know, he wanted to dribble penetration, you know, from everybody, especially our guards. And you know, that's something we took advantage of. Bannister in backboard, checking traffic. Bannister goes low. Tunji, his man fell down. Layup good. Layup good by Tunji on a terrific pass. Terry out front, 28-13 to the right side. Joseph, Joseph back to Sean. To Reynolds going left side. Reynolds, 24 feet for the three. He hit it. That was an NBA three and then some. He continues to get better and grow, you know, and, and games like he had today, or he has been having, doesn't define him as just a shooter. And I think he, he takes that person where he doesn't want to be known as a guy that just can sit behind the arc and make three. Something he does very well, but he can take you off the dribble now and, and, and finish in traffic and make decisions, which is what an all-around guard has to do. And it'll be BC. BC giving it up, Marshall. They run the floor. The Smith layup is good. You know, when we were up 31-13, I thought we got lax, but after that, we really didn't have 
continued moments where we broke down our man to man, so that's why we stayed with it. Joseph had a chance to send it home. Long pass. Marshall other in. The ball blocked by Singletary. Singletary, great hustle on defense. Up top. Sends it left. Singletary. Singletary trying to go to Cousy. He attacks inside. Lamp. Good. Got to the hole. Sean gets to the window. We had to prove people that we can really play in the Florida State game was just a mistake. Kunji kicks it out. Joseph, the open three up top. Good. Uh, beautiful uh, possession that time for Virginia. Great start. It was really nice to be out there with those guys and just have everybody contributing. It was a real team effort. Reynolds driving. Reynolds pushing off. Reynolds a crossover. Reynolds lane right. Reynolds inside. Layup got it to go somehow. Boston College. Reynolds got knocked down. They sent it in. Steal by Singletary. He cut off the pass. Sean in traffic. Sean pulls up outside. JR for the three. Put it in the program. Dudley sends it low to hit it. Hit it to Dudley. Dudley to Rice. Rice dropped the ball. Steal. And the strip. Reynolds all alone to the other. The end. Send it home. Uh, JR. It was great. It was great. I seen him dunking before, so it wasn't a surprise, but it was really good. Kane right side. Kane low. Mikulowskis deflection. Diani the open three. Got it. A uh, big one by Mamadi. I thought Mo had as good a game as he's had in you know at least a month. Uh, not just by scoring, but just his energy. Good pass, low to Lars. Mikulowska, single coverage, baby hook, got it to go. Nice play by Lars. Singletary in traffic, got hit left side Reynolds. Reynolds looked at it, he pounds in the lane. Outside, Sean for the three, splash. Really nice teamwork there by JR. Yeah, you know, Coach been getting on everybody, you know, to step up and make plays. You know, it happened tonight, you know, the whole team, you know, make Mo making um, big shots, Tanji, you know, Lars coming to the game, give us good quality minutes, so, you know, it's a team effort. Second Seven second. It'll be Singletary off the bounce in the lane. Got free. Layup is good. I'd say that Boston College just has not been able to guard the Virginia guards off the dribble. We protected, we pressured the ball, we protected the inside, we crowded them, we made them uncomfortable, we changed offenses, we did just enough to keep them off balance. So when they got something good, they didn't make shots, they didn't make plays. We went today, I'm all with you for long stretches, okay? You know why? Because it wasn't that I went on a hunch that you were going to play well today. I went on the, the, the uh, you being upset, you making change, okay? Talking, yelling, and that's who we are, that's who you got to be. And so this is the benefit of it. The reason why I'm on everybody is because I want us all to share. We win, we lose together. And, and, that's, what it, and that's what it takes, okay? But to the guy that, that, that had a broken nose and came back here, well, nothing mattered today. He just wanted to play basketball and win. That's all he wanted. Okay, and, and, and all the contributions, contributions from everybody. And that's what basketball is. You beat a terrific team. You didn't beat a good team today. You beat a terrific team because you were better at their strengths. You need to enjoy yourself because you just got to understand what you did. Right? You beat one of the, the nation's best teams uh, handily, start to finish, without a whole lot of issues and problems. And, and that you got to be real proud of. All right, let's go. <laughs>
stops from being in, into it, but you know, we'd have to change the way we were playing. With the lead Reynolds sideline left. Reynolds now may take it to the hole. Reynolds in the rack kicks it outside. Bannister spots for the three. Boom! TJ Bannister, his first three of the year. Hammonds against the man to man going to the right side. Picks up the dribble load. Aki Pala. He's got position inside. Layup over the front of the rim is good. Joseph Reynolds, Singletary all in. Reynolds getting the guy to go by him for the three. JR got the look. Bullseye. JR pretty good. When you do go on the road, it's more. Opportunity to get exposed in what you are not, as opposed to accentuating what you are, and uh, that, that obviously keeps keeps happening with us. From 1989 to 1992, Virginia fans witnessed the amazing play of one of the most exciting basketball players ever to set foot in University Hall. As we play our final game in this historic arena, we pay tribute to a basketball legend, Don Staley. I remember Dawn first arriving here and she was a very, very quiet, reserved, non-communicative person um, who was pretty streetwise and had a little edge about her. You know, I grew up in the projects of North Philadelphia, right in the middle of the city, um, and I really didn't step forth out of side of my, outside of my neighborhood until I went to a place like Virginia. And yes, it was a little uncomfortable at times, but you know, as I got acclimated to how things were there, you know, I, I fit in. You know, I fit in. I made my way. I can, I can go into any environment and feel comfortable and feel like I'm a part of it because of my experiences at UVA. She was just so gifted. It was amazing. And, and what, was, what made her so gifted was that she saw things long before anybody else did. Two and three, three, two and three plays ahead, she kind of knew what was going to happen, and she knew what to call, and she knew how to... She just knew how to manipulate the game. She was amazing. Yeah, I have to go back to, you know, when it was just a, a couple of handful of people uh, that used to come to our games uh, my first year. And then our second year, you know, you just saw seats being filled up. My third year, you know, there were very little vacant seats. And then my last year, you know, we, we almost sold the place out every, every home game. And, and I think from that appreciation, we turned those little things into, you know, going to the Final Four and going to, you know, playing in the national championship game. And certainly we took with them and they came with us every step of the way. U-Haul would sell out frequently and uh, it, was, it was just a neat, really a neat presence that she that that crew brought to University Hall and this was their home I hear it from so many people outside of Virginia that I that I know that I'm appreciating the place where I became a young lady you know during those times and, and certainly I, I gave it my all you know I, I can truly walk away from my experiences at Virginia and say there is nothing more that I can do you know I, I wouldn't go back and change any anything. So many of the things that Dawn did were just naturally what Dawn was all about. And so her personality became a national symbol of what women's basketball should be about. And I think that's the thing that makes me the most proud of Dawn Staley and what the University of Virginia played a small part in her life. Coming up next... And I, my heart just drops, like, I'm like, oh, here we go again. Sarah McKnight may have inherited her competitive fire from her father, Tom, a 1976 Virginia grad who was a professional golfer on the Champions Tour. And while she doesn't get much playing time, Sarah's work ethic inspires all of us on the women's basketball team. My friend and teammate, Tara McKnight, is your Student Athlete of the Week. I have to come into practice every day ready to work and go through scout team as hard as I can, try to help everyone um, lead by example. At any time I have out there, whether it's 20 seconds, whether it's 27 minutes, like I treasure it. She brings a huge spark to the team. Like Her work ethic, she has the best I've ever seen. And it's every day in practice, not just every once in a while, it's every day. It was a decision whether to come here try to walk on, not and not guaranteed, obviously, 
or go to a small school and be guaranteed that, but my heart was here. Like this, what I always wanted to come here. For UVA, Curtis Staples, his shot was amazing. That's what I always wanted to be able to shoot like that. Abby kicks the ball corner left, McKnight fires up a deep three, 22 feet away, splash down for Tara, her second field goal. She gave me a week of tryouts and I did everything that the team did, like conditioning, lifting, everything. And then the last day was the first day of official practice and she brought everybody to the center circle after practice and she was saying like, just wanna let everyone know today is Tara's last day and we wanna thank her for coming out and everything. And I, my heart just dropped, like, I'm like, oh, here we go again. Like, this is oh, so frustrating. And then she's like, but she's on the team. And everybody was like, oh. <laughs> when Debbie was saying it, we were all like, oh, my goodness. Like, what are you doing, Debbie? She, she did a great job. And then she just came out, said she's on the team. And we all started cheering and clapping. Tara shed a few tears. And, you know, it was just all out of happiness. It was exciting. I was really happy. It was a dream come true. My dad means the world to me, as well as my mom and the rest of my family. I've seen him practice and work hard his whole life, and that's rubbed off on me, I guess, too. And just to see him where he is today, is I'm so proud of him, just because I know he's put everything he's had into it to get to where he is today. It was the most fun I'd ever had. I remember telling my dad at the end of the day, my cheeks were sore just from smiling so much. Like I had such a great time just knowing that he was there, like living his dream. I had every emotion. It was nervousness, excitement. I mean, I didn't want to trip carrying the bag. <laughs> it was fun. Just he played well, and it was fun. I made the cut. Our family has been very close. We always have, and we are very supportive of each other because. You know, when you're trying to achieve something like that, like we've done, there's probably more bad times than good, more disappointments, we put it that way. It's like we've told Tara in her process that, you know, if you don't enjoy the process, it's not worth it because it's, uh, you, you have to enjoy trying to get there because the fact that you work so hard doesn't mean that you will get there, but it increases your chances and that's just, that's just a way to pursue your dreams. The third ranked men's lacrosse team has gotten off to a strong start this season. We take a look at Coach Dom Starja's squad on this week's Who's Heating Up. Who's Heating Up is brought to you by Propane Exceptional Energy. I certainly was pleased with our performance today. It was the best that we played uh, probably since the preseason had started. Uh, we were looking to get better. I thought we got a little bit better today. Uh, you know, I think our, our best across is still out there, but in a game like today with Ruby R out, we get a chance to get some young guys out there and get them some real experience. And uh, so we're pleased and we're about to, uh, really about to dive into the meat of the season. But I think Kip has played very well in the goal for us, and, uh, and that's been a real plus. That's going to have to continue because there's no question that we're still kind of finding our sea legs uh, at that end of the field. Defense! Is, Watch the breaks with those holes! Stay in tight! Don't get caught up too high! Let the pole break down! It's a great bunch of guys, and we, we, got, we obviously have some talented young players at the offensive end, and we're still figuring out how we're going to put them in there and, and mix them in, in every different combination. I think we're a more dangerous lacrosse team offensively than we were a year ago. I think we can hurt you from more different spots. Find out why more people are choosing clean, safe, reliable propane. Visit usepropane.com. Propane, exceptional energy. Hi, I'm Brenna McGuire, and Cavalier Sports Weekly will be right back. My teammates and I look to keep our postseason hopes alive as we took on Georgia Tech on Thursday. Let's take a look at the game story. The Women's Basketball Spotlight is presented by the Virginia Athletics Foundation. Whistles at right side, Zoll, corner right, Sardin ducking in, lost the ball, scoops it off to McGuire, now Granbury, the three at the left side, good! Virginia, three of three on triples, it's 9-1 Cavaliers! We started the game out like gangbusters tonight, I mean, I thought we were going to have a great night shooting the ball, and we just... 
it just turned into this game that was kind of psychological in a lot of ways because it, it was such a um, disjointed game. It seemed like it was call, 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 call. You know, there's a lot of fouls in the game, and that kind of really disrupts your rhythm, and nobody seemed to be able to get rhythm out there. Neither team seemed to be able to really get any rhythm, and I think that's what kind of made it such a, an ugly game. Now barreling through and drew a foul. Sharnay Zoll with the rock. Lobs into Williams. Open 10-footer. One second to go. Yes for Saida Williams. Saida was really struggling tonight because her knee was so bad, and I really considered not playing her tonight. Um, but she asked to start and see how she, she would do, and I uh, was just real proud of her effort because she was really a warrior out there today. Screen left by Littles, comes back to Sarden, elbow right side. Tiffany steps in, kicks to Zoll to pull the trigger. A big three, money ball left side from Charnay Zoll. I think getting these couple wins under our belts so we can go into the ACC tournament with, you know, when we play Clemson and then we go into with some wins and not on that losing streak, we ended that, get some confidence for ourselves and I think, I think we'll be all right. I'm going to have to be able to put the emotion aside about the game because it's, you don't want to be mired in all of that. You really have to be concerned about putting the team on the court and letting them play and, and getting them ready for, for Clemson, who uh, is playing very well right now. And that's the team that, you know, you've got to be prepared for. In other Cavalier sports action this week. Thanks for watching Cavalier Sports Weekly. This week we travel to the ACC tournament, and on Sunday the men will play the final game in University Hall. Until next time, go who? Cavalier Sports Weekly is presented by the Virginia Lottery, where all profits benefit Virginia's public schools grades K through 12. Buy clean, safe, reliable propane. Propane, exceptional energy. And brought to you in part by the Virginia Athletics Foundation, dedicated to providing scholarship, operational, and facility support for the Virginia Athletics Program.